sometimes when you are trying to improve at something and it feels like nothing is working. You feel like nothing works. You know, you, you do everything that society tells you you should be doing. You know, you, uh, you work hard, you go to school maybe, you get a degree, maybe you're in school now and you're taking classes and you're trying and it doesn't seem like you're making any progress. So you go online, you look for advice, you know, you do all the right things. You seek resources, you go to your teachers, nothing works, nothing works. Maybe you have a job you don't like, you tell yourself, ah, oh, it's just a job, right, it's what I get paid to do, but it's not good. Sometimes when things are just really, really bad, the secret is to disappear. Sometimes I think that people need to go away, isolate, reconnect with nature, reconnect with the world. This is the world. This is the world we live in. And I think that when you reconnect with nature, you know, when you, when you pick up the rocks, Smell the earth, smell the air. It makes you feel, well, the word people use today is grounded. I like to use the word centered. It brings you back to a place called the center, which is inside you. It's where you're at peace. And to reach this level of peace, this, this place where you have ultimate clarity, it's hard to do that when you're struggling with school, when you are having problems at work, having problems with maybe your relationships. And so one way, and this is not the only way, one way to find this peace, to find this clarity from which you can conquer all of your problems. Really, you know, a lot of it's just about reframing your mindset, but you can't do that. You can't think clearly when you're being pulled in all directions by the world, you know, and the world it's a great place. We live in, I think, the best of times. I'm not saying that society is falling apart. And I think we're lucky we have the internet and things are good. But you need to be able to reconnect with nature, with, with the world, in order to really succeed in life, to really make it, to really be able to tackle, you know, those problems you have in your life. I mean, the reality is this, it's even darker. And I don't want to make this a negative video. I, I don't like making negative. This is a message of positivity. But if you're having a hard time now, the reality is you're, you're going to have problems in the future. And so what you want to do is one, be aware of that fact. Two, mentally prepare yourself for those days so that when some stressful situation comes up, maybe you're at work and your boss asks you to do something that's silly and you're thinking, oh, I have to prepare this report and it's going to take me three hours and it has nothing to do with my job and no one's going to read it and no one cares. And then they're just going to tell me to redo it. So why am I going to do it? So you tell yourself you're gonna get paid. And that's why you do it. And it's stuff like this 
It's like these little microaggressions in life that tear you down. And the only way, I think, to deal with them, because you can't change them unless you change your job, right? So the only way to deal with things you can't change is to accept them and reframe it from a different perspective. And you can get that perspective by reconnecting with the world, my friends, the world, reconnect. And, you know, you might think, well, how am I gonna reconnect with the world? There's, there's no nature near me. Well, you can find nature, you can find a small park. You know, I had to, I had to drive to get here. You know, I can't just walk here. I had to plan it out, take a day where I had time to come here, you know. And so it was intentional. And so you have to make that intentional effort to reconnect with the world. And let me tell you, it, it, it will make a difference in your life. It'll help you in school, if you're in school, it'll help you with your studies, it'll help you physically and mentally. You know, they say when you walk outside, just the act of being outside lowers cortisol, which is a stress hormone. So it just makes you feel really, really good. There's, there's a duck over there and it's sitting there and it's just sitting there by itself. Let me see if I can see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's in the distance. Yeah, the duck. It's just been sitting there for like 20 minutes, you know? And so you observe things like that, ducks, birds, animals. And you know, these, these creatures, they don't go to work. They don't have homework assignments. It's like they live in a different world, a world that's pure, but savage at the same time, you know? You know they eat each other. You know, we thankfully <laughs> don't do that. The main message from this video should be that if you're struggling with something, maybe it's time you reconnect and try to reconnect with the world. No, and I'm not saying go live in the woods and there's nothing wrong with that. I lived in the woods for three months, for three months, two of those months with no water or electricity and three of those months with no electricity. I didn't have water for two months and I was there for three months total, never had electricity. So when you, when you, when you take drastic actions like that, you'll, you'll realize that most of your day is spent on survival. Whereas now, most of your day is probably spent working, going to school, you know, trying to progress. So it's a different lifestyle, but it does make you appreciate little things like electricity, flush toilets, you know, things like that. Anyways, I digress. Reconnect with the world, my friends. Come back to nature, come back to the real world. And I think it'll make a huge difference in your life. Disappear for a while, disappear, stay strong.